What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I am back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make these really fun ruffle pants. So, if you guys are interested in seeing how I made them, stay tuned. Alrighty, alrighty. So, first, we want to get started by using just either our pants pattern. Uh, you could go ahead and just use a pair of old jeans. Just make sure that you add seam allowance if you use a pair of old jeans. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just adding in her measurements. So hip measurement, her waist measurement, and um, pants length. Now I took off right at about 10 inches at the bottom because I knew that her ruffles, her longest ruffle will be about 10 inches, so it, the pants didn't need to be that long. So as you can see in the video, I um, folded up my pattern pretty high. Alrighty, so now it's time for our circle skirt. So basically, I'm like playing around a little bit with the fabric, measuring it out to make sure that I had enough to make all four circle skirts, which I did. So I just basically went in and made two circle skirts that were 12 inches, and I made two circle skirts that were um, 10 inches. Now, I didn't do the 10 inches ones on camera because my camera ran out of storage, but you basically need four circle skirts. So unfortunately, I did not get to record how I made my waistband because of my storage ran out. So what I would do is try to find another video to link below on how to, you know, do like this basic little waistband. But like I said, this is not the only way to do it. You just need to have a waistband at the top of your pants. That's all that kind of matters. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Alrighty, so here was not the best angle as we can see, <laughs> but um, I am going in and sewing down our crotch and I am sewing down our butt seam. Now, I don't know if that's what that's called, but it's on the butt and it's a seam. <laughs> so I just sewed down the crotch, sewed down the butt seam, and that's basically all I was trying to sew. I mean, trying to show <laughs> here is me just sewing down both of those seams. Alrighty, and here I am just, as you can see, we have our butt seam and then we have our front seam in the crotch area. So basically all we are doing is sewing down our side seams. Now when sewing down our side seams, we are sewing all the way down to the bottom of the pants. And with the butt and the crotch seam, we did not sew all the way down the pants. We just sewed to the edge of the fabric in the crotch slash butt area. Um, but like I said, I have a lot of other videos. I did this exact same way that I did, um, my body suits and I do all of my pants the exact same way. So just check out another video, um, if you're slightly confused and I have a bunch of other ones that are like more in depth on how to just sew the basic pants together. Now, as y'all can see in the background, um, I am sewing on this sewing machine, but I have another sewing machine in the back. So I will be doing a video on my new sewing machine, how it worked. I just finally was able to like actually use it and like work with it for a little minute. So I wanted to like give it like a good little run before I actually gave like an in-depth video. But I will be giving an in-depth video soon. So stay tuned for that guys.
Alrighty, so as you can see here, we've already sewed down the side seams, but we're going to go ahead and just go in and sew all the way around that crotch area. Alrighty, so we're flipping our waistband right sides to right side, and we're just going to sew all the way around our waistband. Like I said, freestyle with your waistband is completely up to you. Now here we have our ruffles. As I said, we have two. We have one that's 12 inches and one that is 10 inches. So basically what we're going to do, and I also did it off camera, I have a whole video on this, um, me sewing horse hair. So you're just going to go in and just sew all of your horse hair into both ruffles. Alrighty, so these are my longer ruffles. So as you can see, I am folding them to close up that hole. Now basically when I cut out that hole for the circle skirt, Sorry I didn't tell you guys this earlier. <laughs> when I cut out the hole for the circus skirt, I made it really, really big. I added about, um, I'd say two to four inches. Just get that circle skirt hole as big as you can while keeping your length. You want to keep your 12 inches, but you want to open it up as big as you can. So after doing that, now I'm just kind of like adding a few little pleats in. It's nothing structured like me just like randomly pleating. Adding a couple pleats in to make that hole smaller and to give you a, like a better in-depth ruffle. Now this is just the way that I did my um, 12 inch ruffles. Those are the longer ruffles that you will not see the top of. Now when we get to the 10 inch ruffle, I did the 10 inch ruffle completely different. Um, as you can see here, these are the 10 inch ruffles, and I actually gathered them. Now, if you have a gather foot, I feel like that probably work a little bit better, but I don't. So, I just went in and I actually, you know, gathered it and pulled it together. Now, my 10 inch ruffle hole is a bit bigger, just so that I'll be able to gather it a little bit more. And it looks just a little bit neater. It gives it more of like a ruffle look versus it being like a pleat look. Now, with the 12 inch ruffles, you don't actually need to see the bottom as your bottom layer you won't see the top of it so that's why we just did random pleats because it doesn't really matter you can't see it but for our 10 inches you want to make sure that you are gathering it on the machine because that is your top layer that is the layer that people are going to actually be able to see Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and add our 10 inch ruffles on the top. This is our top layer. Hopefully this video is not too complicated. I'm trying to like differentiate the ruffles and trying to like keep it strategic. But when I say 12 inches, that is your longer ruffle. That is the ruffle that goes to the bottom. And when I say 10 inches, that is the ruffle that goes on top. Okay, so <laughs> we are just adding our 10 inch ruffles to the top while leaving about two to two and a half inches beneath it so we can go in and add our 12 inch ruffle. Alrighty, so now you just want to go ahead and sew your 12 inch ruffles at the bottom of um, those little two inches that you left open and you are good to go. So once you sew it there, like I said, it doesn't have to fit perfectly. You can um, either stretch out the pants or you can ruffle up the circle skirt a little bit more to fit the pants leg perfectly. I still recommend stretching the ruffle and the pants while you are sewing them just to make sure that um, once your client puts her leg in there you don't have any thread popping or anything like that so I always like to stretch for the most part everything that I sew but these are our final results thank you guys so much for watching if you cannot tell I have a new camera I have like a whole new setup so I've been gone for a little minute but we've been like getting in the bag so we can like improve our quality. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.